Welcome, passionate Red Devils fans. We're here to bring you the most exciting news about Manchester United. Before we reveal the latest updates about our beloved club, we'd like to ask you a small favor, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the thrilling updates we'll be sharing here. Now, let's get straight to the exclusive news we've prepared for you. Surprising twist, disgruntled Manchester United player becomes the center of a tug-of-war between Everton and Forest. Manchester United has put some of its talented players on the European transfer market. Names like Fred, Donny van der Beek, Dean Henderson, and Scott McTominay could leave Old Trafford in this summer transfer window. Alongside them, a young talent who hasn't had many opportunities under coach Eric Ten Hag has caught the attention of both Nottingham Forest and Everton. Anthony Alanga, a promising 21-year-old Swedish forward, made a name for himself in the youth ranks of Elfsborg and Marmo, attracting interest from both Manchester clubs. And to the delight of Red Devils fans, United outperformed their rival City and secured the player. Elanga made his first appearance for the Manchester United first team in a pre-season friendly against Aston Villa in September, 2020, coming on as a substitute for Marcus Rashford in the 75th minute. Unfortunately, Birmingham's team won 1-0 at Villa Park, with a goal from Callum Wilson. At that time, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was still the manager of the Red Devils. In April 2021, Elanga was included in the squad for an official match against Granada in the UEFA Europa League round of 16, although he didn't make an appearance in either leg. However, he got his chance to shine in the semi-finals against Roma in May. Wearing the number 56 shirt, Elanga made his official debut, playing for 66 minutes in the 2-1 defeat to Leicester City in the Premier League before being replaced by Marcus Rashford. Finally, in May 2021, Elanga scored his first goal for Manchester United against Wolverhampton at Molino Stadium in an exhilarating Premier League match. Even with United fielding a mostly reserved team, the young talent opened the scoring in the 13th minute. The game ended with a 2-1 victory, with Juan Mata securing the winning goal from a penalty in stoppage time. In the 2021-22 season, Elanga wore the number 36 shirt and scored his second goal for Manchester United against Brentford in January 2022, contributing to a 3-1 win at the Gtech Community Stadium in the Premier League. However, he also missed the only penalty in the FA Cup elimination against Middlesbrough, enduring racist abuse on social media. In February 2022, Elanga scored a crucial goal for Manchester United, securing a draw against Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Champions League at the Civitas Metropolitano Stadium. Despite the young talent's effort, United didn't progress in the competition. Overall, Elanga has scored eight goals and provided four assists in 52 games for the Manchester United senior team. His contract with the Red Devils runs until the end of June 2026. In the last season, despite playing only 26 matches, he contributed two assists. In March of this year, Elanga expressed his frustration with the lack of opportunities at Manchester United in an interview with Italian journalist, Fabrizio Romano. It's really frustrating. Playing is extremely important to me. Currently, I'm focused on United, but I'll talk to the club. I really like it here, but it's crucial for me to have the chance to play. I've already spoken with Ten Hag, I know what he expects from me, and I can only continue training hard, the forward said. This wasn't the first time Elanga publicly expressed his dissatisfaction with the lack of playing time under Ten Hag. In September of last year, the young attacker gave similar statements to the website, One Football. It's always disappointing when you don't get the opportunity to play, but it's something you can't control. It's up to the team leaders to choose who they believe is the best. For me, it's about giving my best in the minutes I'm on the field, Elanga declared last year. In addition to his on-field talent, Elanga has a special football heritage. His father, Joseph Elanga, was called up to represent Cameroon in the 1998 FIFA World Cup, although he never played in the competition. Joseph was playing for Marmo when Anthony was born. The Manchester United forward is fluent in three languages, Swedish, English, and French. While eligible to represent Sweden, Cameroon, or England, Elanga chose to defend his native country and has been part of the Swedish national team since the under-17 level. His debut for the senior Swedish team came in March 2022, in the playoff against the Czech Republic in the European qualifying for the World Cup in Qatar. He also played in the match against Poland but couldn't prevent the Nordic team's elimination. Now, here's the revelation that has shaken the football world, Everton has long desired to have the dual Elanga. 
according to information from The Athletic. The club previously attempted to sign him in the January transfer window but ran out of time to finalise the deal. This summer, Everton faces not only financial limitations but also competition from Nottingham Forest, who is also interested in the talented forward. Moreover, other German clubs and Premier League teams have shown a strong interest in acquiring the player. Meanwhile, Everton has already announced its first signing for the upcoming season, Ashley Young. The 38-year-old fullback, who played for Manchester United for nine years and was in the final year of his contract with Aston Villa, signed an agreement valid until June 2024 with the Liverpool-based club. The team led by coach Sean Dyke is committed to strengthening its attack and is also considering a loan deal for Villarreal's forward Arnold Danjuma, who spent the second half of last season at Tottenham. Rodrigo from Leeds was initially a target, but the Spanish player eventually moved to Ol Rayyan in Qatar. Now, Red Devils fans, what do you think of all this? Were you expecting this twist, or did it come as a surprise to you? Share your opinion in the comments because we'd love to know what you think about this matter. And stay tuned to our channel as we always bring you the latest news about Manchester United. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any important updates about our glorious Red Devils.